Alright guys, so in this video I'm just going to try and explain the different um, grades of boards. So uh, just to see the value and if it, if anyone's confused then hopefully this will help them out a little bit. Some things are obvious, RAM, CPUs, hard drive boards, everyone knows what they are. So yeah, you got low grade, mid grade, fingerboards which kind of class as mid grade, floppy board, slot card, motherboards. Um, laptop board, uh, hard drive board, RAM and CPUs. So the low grade board, which I gave 15p a kilo, so that's worth 24 pence. So you know it's low grade because it's brown, it's got all low value stuff on there. I'll whip off the transformers, that's basically it there. Um, crystal oscillator, I'll take that off. Because I collect all them kind of stuff, uh, refining later on, which I do once a year. And that saves on acid because you're doing a bigger batch and using your acid. More sort of economical, economically should I say. So that's a low grade board. And that is worth, what, 24 pence for that big old board. So we've got a mid grade board. So this comes out, this came out of a sky box I think, so satellite box. So mid grade, they go for one pound. So that board is worth 47 pence. You can tell it's mid grade because it's green for starters. Uh, you got a few, you got like a North and South Bridge chips. Um, what other stuff's on there? You got some MLCCs, the little brown things. So IC chips, a little bit of gold in some of these sockets. So yeah, I'd whip off this gold bearing stuff here and the IC chips, crystal oscillators again, I'd whip them off, put them in a little tub. Uh, this is a fingerboard out of a flat screen TV, so you've got the gold fingers and focus. There we go, so you've got the gold fingers, you've got MLCCs, you've got a flat pack, crystal oscillator again, loads of MLCCs along here. So. I don't really sell these because I cut off the um, gold fingers. So yeah, I'll class that as a mid-grade probably if you were to try and sell that on. Then you've got a floppy board, so they go for £3.50. And the floppy board is obviously a floppy board which comes out of a floppy drive. You've got your gold pins, more on the bottom, so you've got flat packs, IC chips little tiny tiny MLCCs so that's worth 21 pence for a floppy board and then we've got slot card which they go for four pound so this one's worth 44 pence so you got uh, ML uh, IC chips you got a crystal oscillator, you got a removable IC chip which might be an EEPROM. You can tell because it's got a sticker on there, usually there's a little glass, I don't know, panel underneath. Which means it's record, or you can re-record -re over it I think. Uh, you got some gold pins, so that's worth 44 pence for this, that slot card. Which come in all different sizes. But I cut off the gold, uh, gold fingers and uh, refine them later on. Uh, next is a motherboard. So these go for £1.90 a kilo. And this one's worth £1.02. Two pence. So everyone knows what a motherboard is. It's got plenty of stuff on there. you got the little gold corner chip. I always take the batteries out, recycle them. Uh, you got gold pins, crystal oscillators, Tiny little bit of copper, that's where the CPU went. Uh, you got some gold here and the VGA plugs somewhere there. So that's a pretty standard motherboard. And then this one was out of an older computer, one of the white ones, sort of, that lay flat. So you can see it's got removable IC chips, loads of flat packs, 10 LM capacitors, which have got palladium. Uh, gold pins, so that one's going for £1.4, so that's exactly the same thing, just an older um, motherboard. 
Now we have a laptop board. So they go for £4.50. So that one's worth 97 pence, which is basically the same value as the normal motherboards. These are smaller but worth more money. So they kind of round off to the same. Again, you've got gold here in the USB ports. Then little tiny IC chips. We've got flat packs with the gold corners. So you've got a good amount of gold in them. Uh, you got a load more on the bottom. So that's a laptop board. Then we got hard drive boards. So they go for £8.50, which are a premium. So if you got one of them. So there we go, we've got gold pins, we've got tantalum capacitor, flat packs, IC chips. So that's worth 26 pence as it is. And you compare it to one of the newer ones, which is, uh, they're a lot smaller now. So that's uh, one of the SATA cable ones. So that's 13 pence for the smaller ones. So you collect these up nice and quick, got plenty of these. As you can see, I've got plenty of hard drives in here to whip apart. More in the workshop. Then, what are we on to next? Let's go for RAM. So we've got all sorts of different kind of RAM. This is my small little tub. And then once this is full, I then put it in my bigger tub. Which is put out of the way, otherwise I just clog up my workshop. So the gold RAM. I go for a nice... £15.50 for a, a kilo so this one's worth 23 pence for that one so everyone knows what a ram is and you've got these ones got the aluminium heat sink on there if you do sell them you need to take the aluminium heat sink off otherwise you get a lot less money but I've just been collecting these up so I think what I'll do is uh, cut all the gold fingers off at some point and uh, refine all them we've got this there's a silver one so we've got the silver fingered one uh they're going for six pound fifty a kilo so that's worth 10 pence just that one on its own so yeah they're silver ones pretty pretty obvious what they are silver and gold ones and then we've got cpus so we've got the green fiber CPUs and as you can see these ones here I've got the pins that one doesn't have pins so uh, I've never sold uh, CPUs I always take the pins out get a heat gun on there and the pins just fall out basically so the green plastic ones with pins they go for six pound a kilo so that one there is worth six pence so that's basically why I take the pins out myself, because they're not worth much if you just sell them. I've got to say, I haven't got a clue what these are worth, the ones without a pin. I'm not sure at all. So I've got plenty of these. Again, I fill this little tub up, and then I chuck it in a bigger tub. Then you've got ceramic. Okay, three on top. So the ceramic ones, they go for £25 a kilo. So these three here are worth £1.88 or 63p each basically. Well, they vary in size, so some are worth more than others. But because these have come out of old PCs, you get a hell of a lot more gold on them. So these are worth uh, refining yourself. Some people collect them, but I'm not really into collecting stuff, otherwise I'll end up with too much stuff. And then you can see on here, this one's black in the middle, this one's got gold in the middle, this one's got gold in the middle. So, you can sell them online as well, I think. It's one, I can't remember, one of these ones here. I looked at it online and someone was selling them for £40, I think. So, I might go down that route and see if I can sell them that way. It's all about making money, so... If I can make £40 by just selling one, I'd rather do that than refine it. So yeah, hopefully guys, that'll help you out a little bit on um, determining what boards are what. Um, also, there's mobile boards. Everyone knows what that is because it comes out of a mobile phone. Uh, I haven't actually got any of them at the moment because I've just been 
chucking all my mobile phones in a box and then I'm going to rip them apart at a later date because they're fiddly so I'd rather just sit down watch some TV and tear them apart so yeah guys uh, like I say, hopefully this helps you out and uh, keep scrapping